Hi viewers, let's discuss some CCNA topics in this video. This video will be a little longer because I would like to do some laps, multiple laps in single video. Okay. It will be totally related on CCNA. Once you finish, once you watch the full video, you will be learning about the following things. First one. How to assign an IP address? How to assign an IP address in router interface? It will be either static IP or an IP from DHCP server. Okay. Second thing we will learn about DHCP server and how to configure a DHCP server in your network. Third one DHCP relay agent or you can say IP helper address fourth one DNS what is DNS and why we are using DNS and sixth one HTTP or HTTPS HTTPS server or you can simply say web server okay let's get started let's create a lab okay This video will be a little bit longer because we want to cover all those topics. Okay, let's copy this. So we don't have a fast Ethernet port, only two port we have so we would like to use the serial connection here. Actually it requires only one side, right? Okay, split both. Yeah. Only one side required. And to server, okay. I would like to configure like this. This one network will be 192.168.1.0. This one will be 192.168.2.0. This one will be 192.168.3.0. And this one 10.1.1.0. This one 10.2.1.0. Okay. 
and this one will be DNS DNS server this one will be web server ok so DNS server and web server and this router will be this router will be DHCP server ok so DHCP web server DNS server all the three server are in single network ok so to understand easily let's create some color This much will be one network and this is different network. This is different network and we have This is another network and this one will be another network. So totally we have five network in this lab. So let's start configuration. As I told you let's create first let's learn how to assign an IP address for a router interface can be either static or DHCP ok so what is the first router CLI uh, enable config I hope you know the basics first you have to interface first Ethernet 0 by 0 ok you know which port it is 0 by 0, this is 0 by 1. So 0 by 0 we will like to 10.1.1. Ten dot one dot one. Okay, so the IP address this is a command to configure an IP 10.1.1.1 dot one dot one dot one dot one. and the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Now shut down to enable that port. Okay. Exit and the this port see the Port to the our network. Can I say that port also interface first to the net zero by one invalid interface? Then which interface it is? One by zero. Sorry, not zero by one. One by zero. IP address that address you like to configure one nine two one six eight one dot one. Mask 255.255.255.0 Now shut down to enable the port. So the port is enabled and from here we have three interfaces so 0 by 0, 0 1 by 0 ok let's do that one 0 by 0 this one so it should be 10 dot range Enable config t interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0 10.1.1.2 10 dot one dot one dot two okay two five 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 two five five dot zero sorry IP address okay. now so don't enable the port so that port also enabled just now so let's come to interface if, uh, 1 by 0, sorry 1 by 0 that address I told you that address should be 2 dot network 192168 so 192168 2.1 255.255.255.0 so mask forward the command IP address ok now shut down to enable the port ok now the this one 
this is serial interface okay so sc serial interface 3 by 0 okay so let's come to the same router again the serial 3 by 0 IP address told you this network should be 10 dot 2 dot 2 dot 1 mask 255255255.0 correct yes now shut down to enable the part because this is serial interface we need to provide one clock right clock right we can configure 60000 okay and exit so all the three interface we configured here and this side the last network router C serial 2 by 0 so come down enable config T interface serial 2 by 0 IP address it will be 10 dot sorry 10 dot 2 dot 2 dot 2 mask 255 255 255 0 dot 0 no shut down this side clock rate not required it is required in only one side and uh, this port the port for 0 by 0 so come configure interface sorry interface f0 zero by 0 192.168.3.1 sorry i'm always forgetting the command ip address 255 255 255 okay now shut down and i will report see our first task we are done as i told you this one we are done now we are send static ip in all router interface then how will i send hcp for a router interface i forgot to tell you so come back suppose you want an IP address from the HCP for a router interface. Let's see this one example. Phase 0 by 0. Let's go to that port. Quantity interface phase 0 by 0. IP address. You can type the HCP instead of an IP address and mask. Okay, that's it. As of now, there is no DHCP server in this network, so I'm skipping this one. Okay. So now you learned already how to assign IP address statically and using DHCP. Okay. Now, if you want to verify, you can use the command show IP interface brief. See, faster than 0 by 0, dot 1 dot 1. Status is up. 1 dot 1. Status is up. Like that, let's show IP interface brief on the second router. See 10.1.1.2 status up 191.682.1 status up 10.2.2.21 status up. In the third router, show IP interface brief faster than 0 by 0, 3.1, serial 2 by 0, 10.2.2. So now this is the time to go to second option DHCP server. Now as I told you I'm planning to configure IP all the network, I mean all the PCs and servers in the network should get IP from the DHCP. So this is our DHCP server. So we have three network. Let's say for uh, this one network A network B network C okay network A will be 192.168.1 dot range so let's go to the router config T IP for use configuring the HCP server so first, let's exclude some address. IP DHCP exclude address. 
191.68.1.1 because this one I already used in the router interface from 191.68.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
for all the network DNS address should be 192.168.1.10 that is our DNS network sorry DNS server IP okay come to exit let's check now the PC will get the IP address or not again failed why because when this PC requesting a DHCP IP from DHCP server the request will go from here to here and the server never will never can find the PC never can find the DHCP server here to obtain IP from DHCP server we should configure relay agent so from where we'll configure relay agent we'll configure relay agent in the router interface I mean the gateway set then gateway interface is faster than 1 by 0 so configure interface of 0 by sorry 1 by 0 can use the command IP helper and put the IP address of DHCP server 10.1.1.1 it is the same IP address of this interface first in the 0 by 1 0 now let's try it is getting the IP or not again fail because why we have to do routing first so I will come back to DHCP relay agent once I finish the routing I forgot to tell you here routing we need one more step here routing and I am using here static route In our network only this PC can communicate with only particular network in order to communicate one PC to another network we should do one routing then only packet can transfer from packet can travel from one network to another network so I am using static routing now for network A this router is connected directly connected in two route to network 191.68.1.0 and 10.1.1.0 and this one ok take the command command from the config t ip root for root static root you can use the command ip root and destination network 192.168.2.0 network I want to reach there and 255.255.0 is a mask and next to hope address either you can use this interface or IP of this interface next to hope I'm using next to hope IP that is sorry not this one sorry not this one this route that is 10.1.1.2 okay Again, IP root you can use the uh, same command. How many destination network you have? 168 3.0 Use the same next to up. Again, IP root 10.2.2.0 255 10.1.1.2 Two. Something is missing. Sorry, one. One is extra there. Okay. So we did the static route in this router. Same way we had to do the routing in second router. As far as second route is concerned, the remote network will be one one nine one six eight one dot zero and one nine one six eight three dot zero. 
or other three network 191.682.0 and 10.1.1.0 and 10.2.2.0 are directly connected to the particular router so let's configure remote network here you can use the command ip root 192.168.1.0 and next to hope address will be this traffic towards 192.168.1.0 traffic will go this way right that means next hope will be 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. you can put the command here 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 the next to hope ip and IP root for the 192.168.3.0.255.255.255.0 and next hop will not be 10.1.1.1 right this traffic will go this side so next hop will be this serial 2x0 IP interface IP that one will be 10.2.2.2 Okay, you have one more router remaining to do routing. Come back to here. You're right. I hope you understood. So now I'm going a little faster. IP root 192.168.2.0.7.255.255.0.10.2.2.1. It's an S2 of IP, right? Again, IP root 10.1.1.0. 255 is the next step. Again, IP root 192.168.1.0 255.255.255.0 10.2.2.1. Okay. Now let's try connectivity, ping connectivity. Okay. It's reachable. Now we are where we are. We are in network C. IP config one work here, okay. We are in network C, right? Where which network? Ah, here no IP configured, so we can't ping. I'm sorry. So now let's try. See, this one already got the IP, okay. So we are come back into our own DHCP relay agent. Go to IP configuration, put DHCP. See, it's working now. Now the PC know where the DHCP server is located, okay, by using the IP helper command. And now we need IP address for network C, okay, that's also we should get from the DHCP. Now let's configure DHCP command for getting IP address for network C. Now I hope you know the commands and you know how already do it so I am going a little faster from here okay IP DHCP pool network C network 192.168.3.0 mask 255.255.0 Default router 192.168.3.1 DNS server 192.168.1.1 Exit Let's configure IP helper in network C Default gateway interface Config interface faster than 0 by 0 IP helper 192.168 Sorry, not 192 Let's do 10.1.1.1 That is a first reachable hook Now let's see Network C devices is getting the IP from the CP or not Yes, it's so working This device has got 3.191683.13. Now let's check the reachability. Close this. Connect.
command prompt ping 192.168.1.10 is our DNS server IP timeout and see it started it's working now and as to ping 2 dot network 2 dot what 2 dot 11 IP will be there right Sorry, I think there is no such IP exist. 2.14, 2.15, so it's ping 192.168.2.15. Okay, it's working. Let's ping to different network 1.5. also working and let's ping to 10.1.1.1 working ping 10.2.2.2 whole network is reachable now we did the routing and ADCP IP helper and we assigned IP address now two topic is remaining let's come to here DHCP relay agent we did and DNS and DHCP two things web server is remaining let's go to web server see suppose our network is, there is one web server or our internal website pages are hosted there so let's create one website for testing here is the web server and so this is a browser, not this one. Let's come to services. This is our web server. Okay, so let's come to HTTP here. Yeah, okay, this is on by default. HTTP is also on. There is some pages. You can create new file here or import file. This HTML pages. This HTML index HTML if you want to edit you can edit I'm going to edit welcome to Cisco pack tracer I'm changing to welcome to pack 20 plus YouTube channel okay And please subscribe this channel. Okay, I'm say okay, all right. Suppose our web server has some pages, some website hosted there. So what I need is I want to get all I mean the website in all this network network A, network B and network C this can be done using DNS okay so we have to configure DNS server and let's come to DNS server and go to DNS service and it is off by default we can make it enable name you can name anything and just give me anything 20 plus www.tech20plus.com Now you can put the IP of where is your website pages located. It is in will be on the web server and web server IP is 192.168.1.5. Correct? Okay, now there will be a record in DNS server www.tech20plus.com and 192.168.1.5 is the IP. And make sure DNS service is on. Now where is the DNS server IP is 1.1 .1. you have to put a DNS IP configuration here 
that one we already done by DHCP command now let's see let's go to one PC in the network and go to browser let's type www.tech20.com hit the NRC now our oops, company internal website is coming welcome to Tech20 Plus YouTube channel please subscribe to the channel okay this is the packet tracer also we can change let's go to the web server not FTP HTTP come to our index edit this one so this ok Let's go to network B. Travel browser www.techtendipus.com. Enter. Okay, it's working and got network C. Go to a browser. Type the URL of our site www.techtendipus.com. See, these are working using the web server and DNS. I hope you. Oh, understood what are the topics we discussed we discussed how to assign IP address for an interface using statically and DCP and we configured DHCP server then we configured IP helper for getting IP address from the remote DHCP server and we configured web server DNS server I hope you enjoyed this video thank you